ha 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 ha
and I don't know if you measure it like this but I always do if you get the cap and then it just gives you a guideline to go off and careful this could stain your clothing and your fingers and whatever else you put in it that sounded a bit weird <laughs> um, and just stir it in I hope you can see that it's sort of yeah that's nowhere near um, red enough that's like quite pink so I'm gonna shove some more in right and where the coffee comes in is basically if you um Well, yeah, right. Um, it can come like really bright red. So, it's gonna finish off the bottle. The coffee, you can use it to make it look more natural because uh, otherwise, yeah, it just goes bright red. So, and I, a natural blood's like ready brown. So, we want it to go a ready brown colour. <laughs> Not the colour this is going. This does work, honestly, it does work. I think I need some more flour in it. Sorry, but yeah, this is all about trial and error, really. But you've got the gist. If you want to stop watching now, feel free. Something smells nice around here. It's not me. Like, <sighs> hmm, hmm. So, if anybody is still watching this, if anybody was even watching it in the first place, <sighs> fake blood. Uh, just to recap, in case you've just tuned in or something. I don't know why I might sound like it's a TV show. It's not, but oh, this has gone orange. Uh, what a disaster! It's because when before I was playing with the bottles, I thought, "What a great idea! I'll shove some yellow in." Don't put yellow in. It's just gone orange. More red food coloring. This one is super cook red food coloring, and we'll see if this is better than the red one from Asda. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Right, this is where like the coffee would come in because it's quite red and uh, can you see my cat ears? Do I need to crouch down a little bit? Because yeah, it, it is really red. Like the camera doesn't show it, but it is super red. This is great stuff. But, right, if you do get lumps, that one worked out really well. So I think as we figured out in this video, leaving the flour in for a little bit before you try and mix it up really works. But if you don't, what I did was, um, before when I was trying it, oh, no, you get like the lumpy mixture and you get like the sieve and like pour the mixture into the sieve and then uh, like get a spoon and push it through so all the lumps stay in the sieve and then you get what I did before is this like mixture and this one's quite thick compared to that one but it just shows the difference you can get with adding more flour it depends what you want and like with you know how long you want it to stay and stuff but I think these two if you put it on your face like for a zombie I could try it now actually I don't know how you would go about putting it on Yeah, very zombie, but it tastes kind of gross. I 
I just found a baby wipe there from before. So, you know, but I hope you liked it and I hope it helped. And if you like the person who's hopefully up here somewhere or was, um, you know, requested the zombie, then I will get to it straight away. And I literally got it like, say, half an hour ago and I was like, right, okay. So this is how you make fake blood. And I will be doing like a face paint slash makeup tutorial hopefully today or tomorrow. And um, maybe using some fake wounds as well. Because this is, this is lovely, you know, just coming out the side of my head. Like, ah! I'm going to go because this is taking too long. In case you noticed on my arm, there is a, I love, says, I love fish. <laughs> and it's because that was in gel blood actually and that was from yesterday and it hasn't come off. It's stained. Stained. But, um. Anyway. <laughs> it's stained my arm. Yeah. But it's because I was a cat. I was a cat. And it, when we when at the Halloween gathering, I was a cat with these ears and a tail. And a tail. Ooh. Tail. Yeah. This looks a bit weird. But it's really good and you can like bend it. And these are from Poundland and I actually love them. So yeah, and then you put the tail on and it like So I hope you like my tutorial. I hope it helps. Sorry I haven't if I've bored you and bye. Say bye Gug. Bye bye.